What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick. I am the hostess with the nothingness. We are going to get right into today with a TV show review. we doing it live. Episode 4 of Moon Knight, MCU, Disney+. Plus. Throw it right out. Do me a huge favor, though. You can check out my YouTube channel, The Vinyl Casket. It's most likely where this is going to get the most coverage. Uh, so if you're watching this now, thank you. Hit that like button. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you're doing, what you're into. Uh, probably doing a trailer review right after this, if not on Wednesday. Uh, trailer reaction. Uh, and yeah, um, subscribe, like, and comment. Check out my Instagrams. And let's get right into this. Moon Knight, episode four. So this... Show is very wonky, but like the character is very wonky. It's a supernatural character involving Egyptian gods and lots of heavy psychology references and multiple personality syndrome. And, um, you know, it makes sense that this is like a weird show. Um, like it just, it just supposed to be. And this episode, you get a lot. Like, it really goes a lot of places. And at the end, like, I didn't even... I didn't even see that coming. Um, but Oscar Isaacs is doing a phenomenal job of portraying this character, right? Everyone's doing a pretty good job acting. I think everyone's pretty solid. But this actor is portraying a man in distress. A man with, mo with two personalities... A man who's battling himself and everyone around him and another additional voice in his head. Um, and he, you feel like it's not too cheesy. Like the drama and him freaking out, him panicking isn't like uh, an episode of, of Law & Order SUV where sometimes the characters are like, that's that's not believable at all. Uh, you You feel the emotion in his voice. Like it's very... It's there. It's really there. And I am enjoying his performance. Um, in this episode, you could basically, we, we go into the tomb. Uh, right now, it's um, Stephen is in control of the body. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Con the Conchu isn't like around. Like he's like gone. Um, so he, he's, Steve's in control of the body and they go in this tomb and, you know, um, is it La, Lala, La, L Layla, Layla and Steven are kind of like going through trying to beat the other guys to, uh, like the totem that they're looking for of Amit and, you know, the references are incredible. They find the, the tomb of Alexander the Great. Um, the references of the six points and all that stuff is really, really interesting. And I'm actually thoroughly enjoying how much like, um, what did it feel like? It felt like, um, oh, it gave me he heavy, um, mummy vibes, like the mummy movie series, the original, not the, not the recent one, but, um, that was really good. I felt like that's the vibe I got, like, um. And then even like the ba like the little fight scenes that they had reminded me of like um, um, Scorpion King, which is connected to that series. So I really enjoyed that cinematically. This is like oh, this is movie level. This is way above TV TV level cinematics. Um, I don't have much to complain about because it's so wonky that the you know anything that you normally would complain about can be just kind of written off as satire or very purposeful to like describe the character and what's going on and it just kind of makes sense so like i'm enjoying that um so i have no real complaints nothing i can really nitpick um i did like that we end up in like a psychiatric hospital at the end right which is most likely all in his head because you you're seeing crazy stuff and 
He goes from being drugged one minute to being able to overcome it very quickly. So you obviously it's in his head and him and Steven are separate and looking at each other. Um, I am enjoying that. I thought that was cool. That kind of gave me vibes of Fox's Legion show. Uh, Legion being an X-Men character from the Marvel Universe. Um, so that gave me, it's given me a lot of vibes and I'm really enjoying the direction that they're going. I'm not sure like what the end goal is with this being four of six. There's only two episodes left. Um, very curious to see what they do and where they end this show and where Moon Knight's kind of going to end up. I know there's teasings of, of Blade and Black Knight and all these weird characters that could like potentially overlap into something. Uh, but who knows what they're going to do. Um, I'm going to give this episode out of five. I'm going to give it a four. Solid four. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Definitely check out episodes one through four. Uh, two episodes left. Two more weeks to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Vile Casket. Home to the latest taste. I'm Nick. Super appreciate watching this. Check out my YouTube channel at the Vile Casket. And do me a huge favor and stay lame.